In this video, I will show you where to find specifications of the car and also the insurance group. So I can calculate uh, already a little bit in advance what your insurance might be. So if you, let's say you are at an um, advert from Auto Trader, you can go to running costs. And then of course you got your fuel economy and then you also see your insurance group. And this for this 2014 model 320D M Sport Touring, that is insurance group 32. The insurance groups are between one to 50 and 50 is the highest. However, if you go to let's say in 2015, BMW 3 Series, M Sports 320D Touring. If you go to running cost, you can even see insurance group, group 28E. And the reason for that is, is actually that might be, it's because it's an upgraded engine and many factors might come into place that is calculating this insurance group a little bit lower, such as safety things that was not fitted at all the models. Another great source where you can find your insurance group rating is parkus.co.uk. If you're at the homepage, you can look for your model. And then here on the specs, you can see the insurance group as well. Of course, you have to make sure that you select the right spec. And of course, if you are like at the, at the M Sport, you need to also make sure that you select the right type of engine. And then also another very important thing to take in account if you go for a diesel is that you select of course the Euro 6 engine if you decide to take your car into central London. There are many online insurance quotes comparison websites where you can actually learn more about how this insurance group rating is calculated such as new car values, damage and parts cost, parts prices, repair times, the performance of the vehicle, like I just said, mentions like newer cars can have more safety than older cars, the security and of course many other things. So if you are a young driver and you want to have the cheapest insurance as possible, then these are the type of vehicles that come with the lowest insurance group rating, such as a Fiat Panda or a Citroen C1, a Peugeot 107 and so forth, really the small city cars. But to really figure out what your insurance group rating might be, then you know you can always go to a calculator, hit the registration of the vehicle, and then you see exactly to which car insurance group rating the car belongs to. So hope this is helpful. Hope you, if you, in case you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, just drop a comment below. And if you would like to speak to one of our car finding experts and specialists, then there must be a link in the description of this video and then you can schedule a free consult in case you are in the market for a used or new car.